Well, lovely news. Well, having a pie and a pint at the football ground is part of the fan experience. Sadly, the stadium stands remain empty, but you can now recreate that match day magic at home with the help of a Sussex company offering pies, snacks and local ales to accompany the small screen action this weekend. Yes, the Seagulls are flocking back to the pitch after a 100-day absence with a game against Arsenal. Brighton will play nine matches in the next five weeks with the Albion currently 15th in the table. They're hoping to avoid relegation. Well, our sports reporter Juliet Parkin joins us live from the Amex Stadium. Jules, a very big weekend for Brighton and their fans. Yes, absolutely. Brighton's Premier League campaign returns here tomorrow. It will be without fans and anyone thinking of coming down here is being urged to stay away to stop the spread of the virus. But we've just had these pictures in from the club showing hundreds of cardboard cutouts of fans in place of those empty seats. Fans can, of course, watch or listen live and the club's providing something tasty to make that experience all the more authentic pies destined for football fans in a bid to give them that match day experience albeit without a 30,000 strong crowd pack sold out within 24 hours and this Sussex pie suppliers been working around the clock to get hundreds ready for tomorrow so they get a keg of Harvey's they get one of our boxes of pies with um, four pies and two sausage rolls uh, they get a bag of match day sweets that they would normally have bought and they get the, um, the whole match day programme, so they'll be able to literally recreate the uh, football at home. This was the last game the Seagulls played, a nil-nil draw away to Wolves in March, then lockdown. Now Graham Potter's side are ready to restart the season where they left it, about to take on Arsenal at the Amex. Only this time, thousands of home fans won't be there to support them. We all want to be playing football in front of supporters, that's the whole point of it to a certain extent um, it's about this it's about that interaction with the fans and and that environment that certainly the Premier League is is known for but at the same time we know why we have to do this we know the situation and we accept it and um, and then we have to adapt adapting to our season ticket holders dedicated fans so used to going to every game many will be watching from home instead just hoping that the players know the support is out there. I don't know how we can still get across to the players that we are with them <laughs> and, um, I, you know, and we are willing them on, but it's just such a different experience. Having live football back is really, really exciting. I'm really pleased that we're seeing the season out. Um, I, I don't think I would have been very happy with things stopping where we were in March. Match day will look very different here tomorrow. Strict limits on access, temperature checks, social distancing, an environment in which the Albion will have to fight a tough battle for Premier League survival. Some familiar fare, though, for fans at least, as they cheer from afar. Well, Charlton Athletic also start their relegation battle tomorrow in the championships. The Addicts travel to Hull City for a 3 p.m. start. Lee Bowyer's side are currently sitting third from bottom in the table. Well, no crowds here tomorrow, but don't forget you can hear full match commentary on BBC Radio Sussex with Johnny Cantor. Coverage is from 2 p.m. and kickoff is from 3 p.m. The Premier League here in Brighton is back. Wonderful. Thank you, Jules. I love those cardboard cutouts in the stand. How inventive. Best of luck to them. Now, is the sun going to shine for us? It is hotting up. John Hammond's here. Tell me more. It is hotting up, and I think uh, salads will be more preferable than pies, as heat is most definitely on the menu in the week ahead.